try out some of the stuff I got from Reddit for Christmas. Oh, the phone's really crooked. There we go. So I did the Reddit Secret Santa. I also did the Reddit Gifts Secret Santa. So interestingly, the order came vacuum sealed, which does keep it fresh. I'm kind of wondering if they vacuum sealed it for shipping or if they sell this as a set and then they just keep it vacuum sealed to make it easier to pop into people's orders. Woo! I smell the bergamot as I open this. Not a bad thing. And they include um, single use disposable tea bags, which if I hadn't been a tea person, that would be great. Ooh, there's a vanilla black, cream of Earl Grey, Irish breakfast, market spice, it smells very orange, um, and a raspberry. All right, what do we start with? Each one of these samples looks like it's gonna last me a couple days at least. Let's go market spice or cream of Earl Grey. Put those two up there. Water just got to boiling. Mm. It actually almost smells vanilla y. Yay, cross contamination. Yeah, this is like cinnamon and things. Cinnamon, orange, clove, cardamom. Let's go for that. That sounds very fun. So the company is called Faking Samity, which I think is adorable. Uh, they're on Etsy, so fakingsanity.etsy. So these are sealable mylar bags with rip tops, but they haven't sealed it. So I am wondering if that's why they kept it in that air sealed thing, which would then make sense. So there's Market Spice. Yeah, whoo, the cloves and the orange definitely come through. I'm gonna be making it in here. Let's tear that. So this is a bit over a cup, so let's do like four grams of tea. That was like two and a half. Let's see if I can get a small spoonful for y'all to see pretty decent sized leaves, chunks of orange peel and whole cloves. All right, so we're at four grams and I have about that much left. So probably one, two, three. I might get five or so uses out of this and we'll see if it re-steeps. to a chai, I would probably want to do that. Let's put the camera down a bit. We don't need to see my head. All right, let's pause this and give it a couple of minutes. All right, so it's a bit over two minutes and under three, the package had suggested two to three minutes. The package also didn't say how much was included uh, in there, so. I think that's something you're supposed to do, but whatever. All right. There is a bunch of particulate in here. Probably the spices. Definitely the cinnamon and clove are coming through. If I look for it, I can still get the orange. And then the aftertaste, I might get or the end of the smell. There might be a little bit of bakey from the tea, but not much. I use boiling water for this. I 
mostly clove and cinnamon. Aftertaste is slightly astringent. That time I got a little of the orange. I mean, it's good. I've had a cinnamon and clove spice tea before, so it's nothing uh, specifically unique to this cellar. Um, might have liked a little more pronounced tea in there. Let's add a little honey and milk. I'm assuming I can get into the honey. Sugar would probably melt better, but I like honey. Hello, or good morning. Honey is um, local. I order from them and they drop it off right on my front doorstep. Um, they do creamed honey and honeycomb, all sorts of tasty stuff. Honey. Not changing the flavor profile. It's sweeter. I like it more, but it doesn't change the flavor profile. Definitely adds to the mouthfeel, creamier mouthfeel. A little less sharp on all the spices. Very enjoyable cup of tea. Like I said, nothing particularly unique. Uh, so I appreciate this gift from my Reddit Secret Santa. It's right on the nose.